All right, so we're just in our store here. We got our UPS package for the zone manager, laying out our materials. This is what the store looks like right now. We install only on the gray face fixtures. Not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one, not this one, not that one. But this is a promo table and we do install that. It's usually right inside one of the doors. And uh, pretty much every store is gonna have this. You're gonna put one or two angled 165 stands on this. So we're gonna get started by, we've cleared this table off. We're gonna go get our equipment and we're gonna bring it out and sort it here. So this is what it looks like after you've sorted your parts out of your boxes. We've got uh, wireless cradles, more wireless cradles, more wireless cradles. You've got your phone sensors, alarm node, power supply for zone manager, DBD 200s, your DG DBG 408s. These are gonna be your wall pods. This is your IR key charging station. Undercover mounts, IR keys, more pods, brackets. Then we have our planogram. What we're gonna take do this planogram is take it and set each page to each bay. That way we can then start taking this and staging it in there. Okay. So this is our first section of our planogram. Calls for two wall box pods on the left and one wall box pod top panel of the Google. So this is correct and this is correct. If it wasn't correct, we'll just pull this off and move it to the correct spot or grab a single or whatever it takes to make this wall look like our planogram. When you walk in, these gray panels might not be set and in most cases are not set to planogram. So you have to check the planogram, make sure it matches. They're just magnetic. All right, now we're gonna take our parts and start staging everything. So we're gonna read our planogram, find the part numbers, and set them here in each bay. All right, now we're back at uh, getting ready to put in our gateway modem. Very important note, do not use the DC adapter, the power source that comes with it. This is powered through the patch cable. We're gonna go into switch two, port 36. So we gotta find port 36 right there. Switch to port 36. Okay, so we've got that plugged in. Got it nicely through. Clean it up a little bit. We're good to go. While we're back here, what we're going to do as well is take a picture because this is a photo requirement. So we'll take a picture. Boom. Showing it's lit up. So it's powered on. And that's plugged into the correct one. Again, first thing we're going to do is take a picture of that serial number on the bottom of this and send it to Todd as instructed in your email. That serial number is on the bottom. We take a picture, send it to him, come back, plug it in. At some point, we're probably going to have to recycle the power on this um, in order to get the network live. So I'll let Todd know that I've plugged this in. But that's up now we'll go do the alarm node and we'll go do the zone manager okay so i get a lot of people saying can't find the alarm node this is the alarm node looks like a hockey puck here chat on this real quick do a couple things on this here get my meat hooks into it now this door is pretty far along here. 
so they most likely have their printer ready to go so we need to grab a power supply in for this we need a picture of that so chad take a hit that white button on the screen okay we got to have that for our photo requirements let's grab a power supply Cut that real quick. All right, so here's your power supply, PS515 US. US obviously just indicates that end. We're gonna plug this in. And we're gonna go find their printer. Here. This is the cabinet we're looking for. We're going to take this. We're going to run this back up through. We're going to mount it right there. And then it's going to light up, so we'll have a picture of that later. But this is what it's going to look like for now. So that's okay, good. so we got a power supply down here. Uh, I might have to just switch. Whoop. I don't want to turn that off. Switch that out. Plug that in, then we're gonna remove the adhesive backer. That's what that should look like right there. That just means our system's not ready to go. So once I'm holding that firmly for about 15 seconds, just to make sure we get good adhesive. Cut it off. Okay. Hey, so this is also a photo requirement. So let's go ahead and get a photo of this. That'll be one of the photos you need to turn in. All right, so we have got the modem live. We've got the alarm note on. We've got everything in our bays ready to go. We are now ready to install. What we'll do now is actually head over and do the zone manager. Now this store is a little different. It has two front doors. So they'll ask, this will actually get two zone managers. There's a front door, there's a front door because of that exit sign. And I'm gonna guess that's a people counter there. We're going to need to install right here in this tile. Okay, so we'll hang that one. I do not have the second one, but if I did, it'd go right here, right there. All right. Okay, so every store is supposed to have a ladder. This store does not. So we are not going to get the zone manager hung today. But this is your zone manager. These are your settings. It needs to be at 4A. You'll take those screws that are in your kit, screw in the L brackets here, hang the chain, and then hang it. Again, you got to look for obstructions up here. That's kind of the most important thing to take away. We can't hang in front of an exit sign that's a fire hazard. So we would just be offset. We want to be as close to that door as possible. Every entryway is going to be different too. So you might have no drop ceiling. The other thing is this does not have a power source in the ceiling yet. There should be a power source here or here. Currently the only power source is over here. And I'm not sure they're going to want to run us, want us to run a cord that long to power it so i can update that part of this video later but i do have another video showing the zone manager so i guess we're gonna start attacking these that's what we're gonna do remove this this is important to you guys this is how you it kind of looks backwards but this is how your wall box pop, wall box goes in. Like that. That's how it goes in, not the other way around. I had some guys do these and their sensors were sticking out this far because they turn this around and put it the other way in. So we'll do a uh, one installation on this and show you how we mount this. This is a two hole. So on this two hole, that means we're gonna go here and here. A single goes here and a triple goes here, here, and here. So we have a double 
we're going to install here. Ready? Yep. All right. So we'll turn this over. Be very careful with your countertops, guys. We don't want to scratch these countertops. A lot of times there's cardboard down. Leave the cardboard down. Again, this was a a double. So we'll put this backer on here as such. The most important thing is that hole lines up right there. Because then we're going to take one second. Everybody's always looking for these. This is your DBG 400. It's your lockdown tool. So you're going to need these to install. It's a magnetic key. Okay. Take our alcohol swab. Carefully lift this back up. Oh, there it is, too. That just ensures us a nice seal. Take a trash box. I'm going to take this. Three. Again, we've got a we got a some threads here. We got to be weary of. They need to line up. And the other thing we want to make sure is that this is exactly up and down. So we'll turn this back over. I'm going to line up the threads. Push hard. Take our backer. I know there's another way to do this in another video. That's probably the better way to do it. I'm still recording. Yep, you're good. <clears throat> All right, that's on there nice and snug. Snug. I'm going to go ahead and add this other one, and we'll come back and plug it in. All right, so. 531 is your power supply, PS 531. You're gonna uh, just click this tether in. It's very important when you plug this in, you wanna listen for a sound, it should beep at us. That's the beep we're looking for. Take the other one. Gotta make sure that beep is in there. That tells us they're getting power. If it doesn't beep, if it doesn't beep, we got two good pods here, but if it doesn't beep, Check this power switch back here, click it on, or replace your pod if that doesn't work. It could be just a faulty pod. Typically these charge. There's another issue. It could be that this is actually not plugged in down below. So there's some troubleshooting points there. If you don't get beeps from your pods, check your power, make sure your power source, make sure it's turned on. If this isn't turned on, it could be down below or you could have a bad pod. Bad pod. So now we're gonna roll through the rest of this wall. So now we're going to put our, our end sensor on. This is a, go ahead and cut it real quick. All right, so this is our vertical wireless wall stand adapt, adapter DCD 306B. B stands for black. That's what it looks like. It's a little confusing because we have some, some numbers and letters here. You would think it goes like this because you can read those. However, it doesn't. It goes like this from skinnier to wider at the bottom. So I'm gonna put this on. Underneath here is a little square slot. That magnetic, magnetic tool catches that. You gotta kind of push and turn and you can feel it catch. And you wanna really kind of tug on this because it'll tell you if it's on there or not. And I'll show you the difference. You get in here and you don't 
get it connected correctly. It might look like it. If I get in here and turn it and don't catch the magnet, I still want to pull because it'll come off. So we put that on. Let that grab it, kind of push. I can, I think I caught it. Yep, so we're good. So the sensors are on. So we'll go back, get our plate. And those are in. All we have left to do is to grab our vertical stand. Your DCD 305. See this kind of mimics that. Slide it in, slide it down. There you go. Repeat the process. This this set is done. Other than if we had a counter stand, which we do here, and we'll cover those counter stands here in a second. So we are in the phones and more section. Doesn't have the header up yet. Phones and more. Our manager's here. He has all the phones laid out for us. There are usually a couple anomalies in the planogram, and that would be the CAT S62 and the CAT S22 flip. The CAT S62 is not a flip phone, but it's thick and will not take a standard sensor. And the S22 is going to get the DBD200. These are the pressure, pressure sensor sense, sensors, I guess that's the best way to say it, that go on the end of your wall pod uh, in this section. The TCL phone's a normal phone, so it's gonna get a vertical cradle. It's gonna get just like we did everywhere else. But these two sets are gonna get this. The reason being is the CAT S22 flip will not handle a sensor and neither will this. There's a power source underneath this. That is a type C or a micro USB. I think that's a type C. When you have this on the end, you find the tether, the correct tether in your kit for, I believe the CAT S22 flip. Both of these get micro USBs, I think, pretty sure. So you're gonna tether, this is going to power it. So when this is in here, we'll plug it in to the bottom of the sensor and then the side of the phone. You take your IR key, you hit it, you should get a beep in this and it'll power your alarm. Basically, this is the alarm in this situation. It's not connected to the, the uh, Wi-Fi. It's not connected to the zone manager. This is what we would call a tethered unit. Um, the S62 is gonna get this. It's gonna get this adhesive ring that we're gonna put on. It's a double-sided adhesive ring. Um, we will, on the flip phone, we're just gonna press it. On the S62, um, we're gonna go ahead and press that as well. That's pretty much it. Okay, now that we've got our vertical cradles in all the way down, we're gonna come back and do our counter stands. You see here it says there should be one counter stand centered on the right side. So this is Rebel and Google. So the Google section would be the right side. So we'll, they have a tray in here, we just remove that tray. Which we'll do here in a second. These are my parts. That is a DCD300B to this counter stand. And here's the power supply, PS515. All right, so we have a situation where our power strip is in here. We have a display here and our counter stand is gonna go right here. So we have two adhesive stickers. I'm gonna put that centered right on the channel. So we just put the cord behind it. But we're going to have to do some work here to access everything. Take this out. Take this out. Be careful with your pins. When I say pins, these are your pins. Lift this out nicely. Now we can access our that 
pull this out here. The bottom one. Drop this down. Supply out. Run this up through here. Plug our power supply in. Plug this in. Oops, sorry, Jeff. Pick this up up neatly. Make sure our cord management's good. Boom. That's back in. That just magnetizes like the rest. Cord management, cord management issue. Push that back. store manager was nice enough to label the location of the phone for us so we'll put that back that's in to his planogram make sure our area is nice and clean you can use a alcohol swab if you have it this is pretty clean make sure you get all your trash cleaned up I always like to center it right on that thing right there Press for 15 seconds. That's that. Now you're ready. All right, so this is your IR key, your programming station, and your charging stand. I just guess they're calling it IR3 charger 8 port, AK4408. For the programming station, I already took her out of the bag, so sorry about that. But this is important. This is the only power supply in your entire kit for the programming station. So I'm going to show you how this sets up. Also, this is a required photo. All right, so here's your IR key. This is what turns on and off the alarm. To program it, put it in here, hit the button. That turns blue. That turns blue. Now come with me. If this were going off, take our arrow key, point it at it, hit the button. It's not going to do anything now because the system's not online yet because our sensor's on our phones and we haven't set it up with NVIDIA. But that is how you disarm, disarm and alarm the system. And Excuse me, arm the system. All right, so we got promo promo table here, the promo fixture. Like our wall pods, but angled. This is an angled 165. The part number is DBD120. Then we need a DBG409, which is the undermount bracket. So how this goes on is we're going to take this. Took a wing nut with us there. All right, so how this goes in is we're gonna drop this down through here. We're gonna drop our, we actually need a power supply for this as well. So we're gonna drop this centered, drop the ring down through here, center it up and on the underneath, this piece fits up under the groove, sets into place. You take your wing nuts and you tighten it down. I'll show you the after product, but uh, that's pretty much it. 
Okay, so our power supply goes up in there. Remember that? So there's our underneath that little cable management. Sorry for the screen shaking everywhere. Push this up. That piece. Actually, again, apologize for the camera work here. Show that again. Over here, the corner. Very messy camera work. It's magnetic. They have these parts up here, so I'm just throwing them back up there. Underneath your remote fixture. We're gonna put a DVD 200 on this, and then this gets a cage. All right, Hamid, I think you're in the same type of building I am, where there's one front door here and one front door there. So we would hang one zone manager in that tile right there run the, the um, power source up through the grid, down and plug in there. And over here, we would hang it right there. We would make sure the settings of this zone manager are at one and A on the dial. And this one would be four and A. We want it stronger because it's further away from the merchandise. This one would be one and A because it's close to our wall. Here's our wall. That's what it looks like when it's complete. Um, if there's no, if the power, this power source is over here, that's too far. We just wouldn't be able to plug this in until they got a, um, until they got a power, a, uh, plug put in the ceiling right there. So take some pictures for me of your front door. We're going to put sensors on the devices. Um, our store manager has got all of our phones out for us. These are still boxed. Most times they are not boxed. So what you would have to ask them to do is make it kind of look like this with a post-it note that shows what the product is because again, very organized here, have things in boxes, most times not. Got my spreadsheet going, device, QR code. We have to have this. We cannot set up the system without it. It's a Pixel 6, so we're gonna write Google Pixel 6. We're gonna get our type C device, our type C sensor. Ready to see if you can get this. This top number, 0005-002165. That's the QR code number we're looking for. I know the instru instructions say something about taking a picture of a fact tag. The fact is most of these stores don't have printers going or they don't have fact tags yet. So we just do this in place of taking a picture of the fact tag, fact tag and everything they ask for. So I'm gonna write QR code number down. Grab this phone. The one thing I try to do is because these can get a little sensitive is make sure that I've got the sensor on nice and level so the phone sits neatly. So I'm gonna pull the tape out. I'm gonna get this nice and square. And then I'm gonna press pretty hard for about 15 seconds. Zone managers are not hung here, so we can't have merchandise out until the zone managers are up. So you let the store manager know uh, these need to be held until the zone manager's up. And that's it. So type C sensors lightning sensors for Apple products and occasionally you will have a um, micro USB not very often um, it's mostly just the the new type C's no. so there you go let's walk over here real quick and one important note 
He's charged through here. So we want to make sure that we get some action on this. The phone might not be turned on. It also could be super dead. Yep. Yeah, it's charging. So that's another reason we want the managers to tell us which phones they are, because if they're dead and they don't turn on, we can't see what they are, but that is charging. So that's it. That's, that's basically it. So once you have all your sensors on, you have the manager was nice enough to tell us the, um, the managers carry a tablet that has a uh, planogram system within it that they can show you how to use. Um, after you've used it once, it's pretty self-explanatory. Again, this staff here was nice enough to label everything for us. So if our zone managers were hung, once we had our sensors on, we placed all the phones. You can see we've got, now we got some life in this phone. We wanna make sure everything looks like this. Everything's charging. It's going into demo mode. That's perfect. So we would just check every phone. That's it. Okay, so I finished my spreadsheet. Finished my spreadsheet handwritten i'm gonna take a photo of that get that to tom in our pictures promo table's done that's a picture we'll take a picture of that real quick here's all of our security devices all of our sensors on our phones that we would typically put on the wall again our zone managers are not hung because we do not have a ladder here today the store did not have a ladder and when we take pictures, this is a picture. That's a picture. We want to make sure we have the whole fixture in frame. Just down the line like that, every bed. Picture like that all the way down. Again, we would typically have those uh, phones on the wall. Our counter stands are in. By the way, when they say centered on the left-hand side, I, I center it off that they have two i kind of cut the difference so this is centered over here that's centered over there um we got to have a picture of the ir key display here that's a picture this is Get a picture of our gateway. Oops, excuse me. You're all right. Got a picture of our alarm node, and today it looks like our boxes are going back in the connex in the back. So we'll go back there and get a picture, and that's about it. Um, I took photos of the underneath of the. I got a picture of that of the alarm node, the gateway, and. Uh, Again, my email will talk about that as well. And that's pretty much it. Complete your checklist and you're good to go. All right, so here's where your parts and pieces go. Back in this room. Here's some extra face plates. Um, every site is going to have these. They're sometimes boxed in a triad box, but every site will have those. There's our leftover parts. Again, that's a photo you gotta take.